Welcome to another episode of the Grappling with Life podcast. I'm your host, Mohamed Yahyawi, and today I'm joined by the stars of the Good Fight documentary, Dili Hussein and Khalid Ismail. Welcome, bro. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Khalid, for coming. Khalid, often we've seen too much of each other. I know, bro. <laughs> how, how often do you guys see each other? So we shoot the Bedouin breakdown once a week, and then he strangles me on Wednesdays. Okay. I don't know if you saw the story. I saw it, I saw it. He violated me oh, that day, bro. I didn't violate you. I, was, I felt violated. Like, I was helping him, bro. And it's in slow motion as well. Yeah. I was helping him. He wasn't even <laughs> like. Yeah. I was helping him. <laughs> but next time, let me choke you on 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 thing. It's not gonna happen. He'll never do it. I'll just re-edit the whole thing. But he was doing the armbar. <laughs> he got me in an armbar, and I said, "Let go, so I can just thing in it." He thought he. Th- what did I say? Because you, you, you caught me. Yeah, no, because you caught me in it. Yeah, and then he just his body wouldn't let me get out, bro. I said, like, just let me get out. Then he opened his legs and I was to get out. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know when you're so bad at something, yeah. when it comes to editing that specific thing, yeah. you're not cutting, there's nothing left. There's nothing left, bro. <laughs> it's just happened. you shaking hands and yeah, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's what happened the last episode, bro. I like, father, what, so what, what exactly do I leave? I took a whole five minute spar with Ibrahim out. Serious? Man, there's a five minute round you. left it on, bro. For what? So you can see. Nah. That was the whole purpose of it. <laughs> well, what, have you got it for yourself though? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, right, right, right. Alhamdulillah. Khalid lined me up against Ibrahim for very specific reasons. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows that. We're yeah. gonna get into his motives and what he, what he, uh, yeah. and he should be arrested for some of the things that he done on uh, Ibrahim, wow. especially the ones on the, no, no, hey, this guy, bro. Whatever you left on the cutting room floor, bro. <laughs> 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 you should release some like, it'll be good. This guy's still sick. I remember the first time you rolled with him. The first time you rolled with him, and he came after like I think you rang. Did you ring me after? Yeah, yeah. I said, "My yeah. in-laws, I'm coming down for a couple of hours." Yeah, so you trained. Oh, this was he because Ibrahim was with me on a Saturday. He trained right, on a Saturday, right, right, yeah. yeah. Sure. And then uh, did he roll with him? Then I said to him, "Oh, you know, he's only 17, yeah." And then uh, that was the first time you think you've done jujitsu. That was the first right. time that like, kind of thing. Or you don't. In a like, pro- no, 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 that's the first time I sparred. Sparred, yeah. yeah. First time I sparred. So everybody twisted him up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then after, he goes to me, Is he really 70? <laughs> I was like, Yeah. Then he rang me the next day. He goes, Bro, I still can't believe this guy's 17. I see he's 17. Lama back. Week, I know about a week later. <laughs> is he 17? <laughs> you know what it is, though? That's the thing. He's been training yeah. since he was five years old. That's like a different I was talking about level, this. bro. I was talking about this. Sorry, bro. I was talking about this yesterday to some students. The whole game's changed because you got kids starting young. Very young. In this in this sport. 100%. Now. So, bro. And I, obviously, you got, bro, 18. Mike, Mike Tyson was a uh, heavyweight champion in the world, bro. Ibra- so, Ibrahim was definitely a, a wake up call for man. It definitely gave him a realization. And he was actually 16 at the time when I rolled him. No, no, seventeen. Was he seventeen? Seventeen, yeah. Irrespective of that, fact, it was it was it was, it was a wake up. Boy. But Alama, but he's a big big kid. Bro. I've rolled with him. He smashes me, bro. Yeah, Strong. But and I'm I'm a, I'm six foot hundred kilos, bro. Do you Cold. understand? Yeah. yeah. Emotionless. Yeah. He's like a um, like yeah. Terminator, like a Bengali yeah. Terminator. Bengali Terminator. That's it. Alama Barak. Alama Barak. Alhamdulillah. May Allah raise him to be of the most strongest and successful. And very humble, bro. That's what I love about him. Alama Barak. That's his new name, bro. Yeah. Bengali Terminator. Yes, yeah, still Because yeah. everything's just so square and like rectangular yeah. and just strong and straight. Allah and Allah and Allah. And I'm like, but you know what's good? His dad keeps him in check, bro. Yeah. Allah Allah. Allah. Shout out to Shamal, bro. Yes, Allah Allah. He keeps yeah. all yeah. the. He's very stern and very. <coughs> he's fair, but he keeps him in check. And it's important that, you know, you have someone like that to 100. keep you, you know, um, on, the, on the straight path, bro. And not that he's a bad kid. He's a very good kid, mashallah. Top he's kid. top kid, bro. And on, top off, man. on and off the map, mashallah. But let's get into this, bro. Yeah, because I got um, a few questions I want to ask you, bro. So I think you spoke to me before you were going to shoot. You said, mm-hmm. "Look, we're going to shoot because I think we, we, the last episode. We, no, I know the last episode was shot at Legion, mm-hmm. and uh, you said, look, 'Look, I'm thinking of doing this.' And I think hard you. You said, look, we're, we're going to do this together or whatever.' And then he said, "Yeah, he wants to." Uh, you, you explained the concept of the documentary, and then you said, "I'm getting ready for Hajj." I was like, "What?" Mm. I was like, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> get the, the connection. You could have done a marathon. You could have done, I don't know, bro. You could have done so many other things. But why did you specifically think combat sports? You know, before uh, Hajj was given its, uh, before the word jihad was given its shari'i meaning, yeah. right? And which is basically uh, more of a military yeah. one, whether it's defensive or offensive. 
the Hajj was synonymous to jihad pre-Islam. So when people used to talk about I'm going on jihad, the the Arabs of Arabia they were talking about going to Hajj. Uh, Hajj. Okay. Um, and it is something that's well known within our tradition that when you make that journey, the best version of yourself has to meet your Lord. The best version, physical, spiritual, emotional, the best version of you has to meet Allah Azza wa Jal uh, in your Hajj. That's why on um, when we speak about Arafah uh, and that you're you're standing, you're in a, you're sweating, you you haven't cut your nails, your hair, no 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 perfumes are allowed. They say that ulama have said that that is the closest to Yom Al Qiyamah that will be in terms of our situation. Like on Hajj, you just stood in Arafah and you're just begging Allah for His endless mercy and forgiveness. Right? It's the closest that we will ever be. To what Qiyamah is going to be like oh, no. So in preparation for Hajj I had a lot of fixing up to do bruv. And it came at a specific time Where a lot was happening in my life And I just felt like that was a good outlet mm. And I felt Khalid was a good shrink To help me through some of the problems I was having And it was good, it got to a point where I was like I was just contacting Khalid for various issues And um, um, just as an older brother And just something yeah. to see And then, and then this, this thing, the project Was something I was hoping to do I've tried doing stuff with Khalid before. Remember we had the Arnold Schwarzenegger tournament. Um, um that yeah. what was it called? The um, no, in Birmingham they do that show. Oh, um, the Arnold Invitational. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Me and Khalid were, were planning to do something then. Yeah, uh, but it didn't work out because they were asking for too much money for us to have a presence there. And so I, what do you mean do something? I don't. Understand. We were going to do like a stall. We were going to have uh, content, material, merchandise. For uh, what? Sorry. For Khalid's Academy. Oh, I see. Sorry. Khalid's Academy. So I'm a bit one step behind sorry, you, bro. Sorry, sorry. So we were gonna have we were gonna have a stall there, yeah. a marketing stall there where Khalid could promote uh, his academy. There'll be merchandise there. And obviously we were trying to line up uh, other arrangements with some of their guests at the time. And we thought perhaps Habib was there, right? Habib G. Yeah, loads GSP, of others. Yeah. And and this was this is Habib was still new in the UK scene then. Yeah. It wasn't like he's now going to bear charity appeals. It wasn't like that. He was that was his first proper UK event, and the organizer wanted too much money. And me and Khadr, that's long. Nah. Yeah. Like, well, like, it's cool. It'd be nice to meet him, speak to him. Yeah. Not that much. Yeah. Did, so you parlayed it into like. So and that's then, how the conversation no, was. No, the no, just a breather, okay. And then and then I was always wanting to do something with Khalid, with relate relating to combat sports and MMA. Yeah. The timing of Hajj and everything just just happened that was. Okay. Um, when you said to me about uh, you mentioned Arafa going in there, mm. I was like, it just reminded me of one thing when Anthony Joshua fought uh, Ruiz for the second time. It was the second time in Saudi. Mm. Yeah, when yeah, his yeah. hair was all kind of, all he didn't even have a haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everything. yeah, it was like so. It reminds me. Have you, have you ever? So when you were preparing for a fight, bro, did you have haircuts and stuff? And no. So you just yeah, went, so, so, sometimes you just you go, just let it. Yeah. What is that kind of? Uh, I think you just try to Why get do you fight? Because a lot of fighters do that. In camp, they're just, I think you can, not just you get, the hair, everything. When you get to a certain state, yeah, like your men mental state, and then you, everything is about that training, which is probably the same thing as what you're saying. Isn't it? Everything yeah, is about asking for forgiveness. Yeah. Mm. So then everything else is irrelevant. Mm. Your hair, the yeah. way you look, and all that stuff. Because that takes... A mental kind of capacity. Yeah, I need, to, to, I need to smell good. I need yeah. to look good. Or I need to get my hair cut. So you obviously forget. you had showers. Obviously, yeah. yeah, yeah. But but what I'm saying is, that it's, it is, it's 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 putting yourself in that mental state of okay, I want to go there and uh, win. Or we both had trims for the documentary, though. Yeah, yeah do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll get rid of all these grays. <laughs> 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 we both had trims. For the you had to, bro. You had to do it for the. Yeah, we had. You had to, bro. Um. So you kind of covered it a little bit, but like, obviously you've been around this, you know, you've interviewed loads of people. Mm -hmm. You might have had access to other people. So why did you choose Khalid in the first place? Um, I said this during the documentary, but I actually cut it out because I felt it was a bit moist. Because okay. if people didn't understand that side of the context, they'd be like, dude, he's just having a fanboy moment with Khalid. Right, right, right. <laughs> when I first met Khalid, no, no, and I'm not going to throw doubt on my brother's face, but, but, but when I met Khalid for the yeah. first time, he was in Abu Dhabi, yeah. UFC 242. The day after, uh, Khalid was with champs, and Faraz was floating about his Kamaru Usman, there was Kevin Gustalim, there was Triple C H. Triple, triple, triple C. Triple C. I think Triple H is the... Triple H is like... Um, WWE. Yeah, 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 that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Degeneration X and all that. Um, I saw Khalid and I will lie and Allah is my witness to this. 
Some of the brothers didn't even know who the champs were. Yeah. That's the first thing. So some of the brothers we were with didn't know who Kamaru Usman was. Right. Didn't know who some of the people are. Others were obviously very like starstruck by that. Yeah. But I was like, is the Khalid's here, man? I saw him broke a grown man's leg once when I was young. <laughs> and, and I was more honored to have met Khalid. Not that I was, I was buzzing about meeting all the others as well. Yeah. But for me, Khalid was the one that I couldn't because he's from my country. Yeah. And I've seen him before. So I was more honored to have met Khalid. Yeah. Um, but we didn't really get to speak much. We just met, did a podcast when we both got back. You had an eye thing, your eyes yeah, were mush up. Yeah. Oh my God. The yeah, I remember that. So you bad. looked murked, bro. But yeah. I had to go hostel. You had antibiotics and you had, you had, I had to go two hostel. bouts, innit? Yeah, I had, I had to go. Both my eyes were. Uh, one day I went blind. I went blind. I could not see. I'm up my, I, had to, I had to get taken to hostel. But why? Why did that happen? Someone had. Um, it's all started in America. Someone caught, got an infection and just it just spread to one, from one person to another. And then in Abu Dhabi, I had it really bad. I had bad. it in one eye. And then it just went to the oh. other. I saw Khalid, I said, oh, is he vexed? Yeah. <laughs> was he like, one last night? What was it? What's, what's, what's happening here? Yeah. But even I'm not going to ask, but his eyes were mashed up. And yeah. then and I just stayed in touch with Khalid after that. Yeah. And that's it. I, and there were others we could have done it with. Mm. I mean, I mean, for us was as a hobby. Yeah. Big up to me. He was, he was one of the options. But why would I want to go to Canada and yeah, uh, Khalid and brothers in the UK? And there were other options, but he just felt right and comfortable with Khalid. Alhamdulillah. And Kate, what did you, when he asked you about it, like, what did you, what was your initial kind of reaction? Um, Honestly, bro. I'm always up for stuff like this. I'm always, I, I, I've done a few things. Did you, with, because the thing is, I've, I've, been privy to certain things that you've done in the past, yeah, and people you've turned away. I've seen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen, yeah. yeah, I've seen you be very frank behind the scenes, like, nah, yeah, I ain't yeah. doing that, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. long. Yeah, do you get me? So I know you do turn things down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think like, uh, why um, Dilly and why why was it kind of? Do you know what, what I like about him? Gun. Without throwing dirt in your face again. Yeah. Uh, hey, bro, is this going to be one of them podcasts no, where no, no. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for you to praise me as well now, bro? I'll praise you after, bro. I'll praise you after. Bro, well, I've been spending a whole week with him. I've got two compliments. For so, 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 and, that was, and that was only after the SNC session, right? Because we were smashing TikTokers. And, and then the last day, just that last clip was like, yeah. hey, you done well, bro. You done well, bro. And that was it. That's two compliments. But I'm exactly. fishing all, all right, week. Well, let's let's let, 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 take, 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 uh, take a step back and just bask in it for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, go on. Do you know what? Personally, I love people who are like this, isn't it? Yeah, I love when people are straight. So I felt when I when I met him in when I met you in Abu Dhabi, he was very much like we just clicked. Uh, so I, I like the way he spoke, um, and I was like, okay, this guy, this guy is not. Um, yeah. Did I seem gassed with the other people that were around? No, see, well, I wasn't. It, it wasn't even that. It, it was, and it, and it was like, um, but even like you know when when I was sitting with yeah. Henry Cejudo, yeah. Kamara Usman, all these guys, bro. I know my place. Do you get? It? So it's like, okay, when when someone's talking, you listen. Yeah. So like you know, like and and he kept quiet. So I was like, oh, okay, he's. I I, 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 I would say I watched Dilly on uh, Pierce Morgan show ages ago. Bro, that was my brat moment. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I was doing this yeah. the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So then, <laughs> so then obviously, because I, 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 I knew who Dilly was, uh, Mashallah. Yeah. So it was like it was good to actually meet him. And I was like, okay, yeah, this. I like I liked his personality on TV, and then when I met him in person, he was very mm. straight. Then when we spoke after, it was very much the same. And I was like, okay, I get along with people like mm. who don't come with like you know I want to uh, do a documentary and use your name, and then you know you train me, and then I want to be MMA fighter, yeah, yeah, like kind of thing or UFC fighter. It's like, can you yeah, get me to this guy? <laughs> yeah. So it's like it wasn't that; it was just like this is what I want to do. It, the intention was good, so I liked it. Yeah, and I think I think just to add to what you're saying, my my experiences with Diddy, like he's dead, bro, and he's not even on this podcast. We're talking about it, like he's not even in the room, bro. <laughs> but no, that, that's I think one thing that we pride ourselves in is that we don't hang around with people that are not genuine, genuine, bro. 100%. And I'm I'm like, if if everything I've said to you, you agree with, or or kind of you just say, I don't like that, bro. I like people to tell me straight, and. I don't, I don't get my feelings hurt. If you don't like something, you tell me. If you like something, you tell It doesn't matter. But if we're just sitting there stroking each other's egos, it's not very... And I, I don't like hanging around people like that, bro. So that's something that I did. I told the guys on um, Five Pillars, he is like that off off air as well. Bro, yeah, the way is, I'm on yeah. camera, I try my best to be... And that's what I like, bro. Let me just give you an example of, of to the extent where 
I've sought Khalid Nasihan certain issues, right? Wild ones. Khabib's fa- father just passed away. My love, mercy Merahum. on him. Merahum. Within 24 hours, I'm on the phone with Khalid. I said, Khalid, I'm going to fly to Dagestan. <laughs> Khalid, I don't think that's a good idea, you know. Do you remember, remember that conversation? Because I don't think that's a good idea. I'll, I'll go and do what, bro? Just, just, just find out what's going on. Go oh. to Mahashakhla, you know, make some, make some content. You Say know, that again, find out what's going on. <laughs> What? Go where, bro? Mahashakhla. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Mahashakhla. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever heard it. I thought that was I've read it. Yeah. No, no, no that's, that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. <laughs> Mahashakhla. Mahashakhla, yeah. So, Rahul, if that goes there, what do you think? I'm thinking about throwing out there. Yeah, there's not even direct flights to them yeah. places, yeah? You have to go to Germany to go to Russia to get to Dagestan. Boy, how do you not pronounce it in? No, 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 no. Him now. <laughs> He said Bengali Baklava, bro. No, 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 no. I can see where like, there are some similarities. But, oh, okay. shot man, like, that's not a good idea. He yeah. goes, the timing. He goes, also, you know, he, from the experience he's had with the Dagestan, he goes, the very um, Cosa Nostra type people. They're, they're like wolves, bro. They have to trust you to yeah. let you in. You just rocking up in Mahashakla a day after his father's passed away is a bit mad. But I told you a story. I told you. I told me to tell you a story. You know um, when Rustam came to, to to stay with me here, yeah. he came with um, Assad. Yeah. So Assad is the one who punched Conor McGregor. Yeah. Mm. So if you actually watch all of them, but he's the right hand guy with all of them. Assad. Assad. Yeah. So if you see with Habib all these guys, the whole time, bruv, I talked to Rustam, and then Assad just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching me because he because obviously the first time all of us meet 100%. him so he's watching 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 then after right on the last day he goes to me if you ever want to come to Dagestan you come stay be our guest but it took him seven days to understand okay okay this guy's alright <laughs> Yeah. And that's what I said. That's what I, said I like that though. No, it's cool though. I like that. Oh, I'm like that. Yeah, I'm you're like that. that. I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, your best friend. Yeah. I, I joke around with people I know, but uh, I've said, oh my god, I've actually been involved in a conversation with a member, bro. <laughs> Wallahi, bro, I wanted to jump out my skin. <laughs> I'm not joking, well, bro. Well, I've been back the academy. Yeah, so I don't want to get into the details, but he looked him dead in the eye and he said this. For, I'm not going to repeat what he said. It wasn't rude, but I just, just in case um, people put the pieces together. <laughs> but you know, when you look at someone and I'm, I'm me and, me and Amir, they're like, we're like, oh my God, this is actually kind of uncomfortable, bro. <laughs> See, it was like, boom. And I've seen it done other people as well. But you know what? It was refreshing because, I mean, I wouldn't do that. I just don't, I'm just not made like that, innit, bro? Mm-hmm. But I do have conversations with people if 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 it needs to, but he he doesn't suffer fools in it. That's the thing. Like he doesn't have. Sometimes we have to actually calm it down. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, bro. This is too much, bro. <laughs> Please. He even now, but I think when I first met him, and now he's kind of the word mellow is not the word, bro, but he's the edges have rounded a little bit, bro. But yeah. we had concerns that Hollywood wouldn't smile once throughout the whole documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like to a point where, like, Khali, you know, you know, just just yeah. a little bit, give us a, a little bit of something. Yeah. And he's like, Nah, I'm cool, though. Yeah. It was smile when you have to. Remember, 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 remember the live that we did before that? Yeah. And Khali's like, Nah, he goes, I am chill. He goes, But I just need to be chilling around the right people. And I'm mm. just like, Right, is he going to give us anything throughout the whole week? <laughs> yeah. Is he going to give anything? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was all right. I mean, no, he was, yeah, but again, it's like, it's only when you need to, isn't it, bro? But I feel like it's important. And that, like you said, you have you can't be around everyone that's like you in it. You got to have a, a kaleidoscope in it, bro. Yeah, yeah, of people, exactly, work, bro. So, um, sorry, this is me trying to be a journalist. No, no, yeah? that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 and when I said to him a couple of things, like, this is why I want to do it, this is why I want to do it, he said, bruv, if there's anything to do with ego, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. So how, so how he actually did at one point, say, yeah. if this is why you're going to be doing it, I don't want anything to do with mm. it. So, yeah. But he, but, but he kind of nipped that in the bud very quickly with, like, Ibrahim yeah. and, like, um, um, what he had in store for me and stuff. I learned that very quickly. No, but I think that the intention, Dilly, w- w- was good. The, the whole... The whole premise of it yeah. was that it was correct. So it was like, okay, this is something, because most people come to you and say, oh, what's it feel like to be an MMA fighter? Yeah, yeah. It, was it like, wasn't that. And it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't so it, that. Because it wasn't that, it was nice to do. It was refreshing. It wasn't that. I, I was I was making, sorry, I was, sorry, I was going to Hajj. I just went the best version of myself. And the only realistic outlet I had for that 
and someone who, who had access to was Khalid and MMA. Uh, box a bit in my amateur days, a couple of bats when I was a young kid. That was about it. Push a bit of weights. And that world was completely different. Mm. Completely different. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, I'm going to go for it upside down a little bit. What was your worst experience? My worst experience, yeah. uh, so this was there are two things. Yeah. Um, I'm honest with you. So I, there is a worst experience then? There's, there's two. There's two. <laughs> there's two. Okay. It was constantly being on Khalid's case. I didn't like that. What do you mean? Khalid's a Cosa Nostra type guy. Yeah. You know, so can you explain to everyone? Because I know what you mean by Cosa Nostra. Cosa Nostra the is guys that watch mafia. My... And Cosa Nostra basically means silence. Yeah. yeah like, 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 it's a principle of silence. It's a code of silence. silence, isn't it? Code of yeah, silence, yeah. 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 And, and, and so, so really just speak when you're spoken to kind of yeah. thing, yeah? From that regiment, right? And Khalid, oh, we're going to have to do this. But I've given us access to this. Oh, we're going right, to have to push this. But we're going to have to do this. And it's just constant. Khalid just and he's given you one word um, he's replies. He's got seven minute voice notes. <laughs> he's got khutbahs. I'm sending him like, any full on lectures, yeah? On, on voice notes. And no, 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 I bet you this one. Yeah, that should be okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they, they, were, they were significantly shorter. I'll tell, I'll tell you that much. And um, so, so there was that bit, just being on Khalid's case, because that had to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was our thing. We're doing it together. We made a commitment to each other for this project. And so that requires sometimes um, some unashamed plugging and, and promoting. And, it's, yeah. and it was pretty constant. But Alhamdulillah, Khalid held it down. But yeah. I felt like I'm just doing his head in all the time. Yeah, I see what you mean. And second, in terms so of- So that was your worst experience? But it's not nice. Were you, we're were grown you scared men, or something? No, we're grown men. I shouldn't, so, be, I shouldn't be pestering another grown man so much. Right, okay. Th that's the way it is. So you know, were very uncomfortable with- Not uh, very uncomfortable. I just didn't, f it, was, it was one of the, the things I didn't like that I had to constantly be on Khalid's mm. case because I think that Khalid's deliverable was this, train me for a week, yeah. that's it. Oh, I yeah? see. Jamal fly on the wall, that's it. Don't, don't, so, so anything extra was Alhamdulillah from, was from his right. generosity and his willingness. Give me access to your YouTube. Give me that, those are the big things. Give me access to your social media. Push this, push that, push this for constant, bruv. Do you understand? Yeah. So, so that was a bit uncomfortable because not because of who Khalid was, but more to do with I'm just not used to being on people's case like that unless they're working under me. Unless they're members of staff. Yeah, I understand. You understand? And, the, and in terms of discipline, wrestling was hard. That was the worst one. Yeah. So what was hard about it though? Um, my stiffness, my lack of agility, the fast tempo of it. Um, and it was just, it was, I find it quite painful. I was, I was in pain, bro. Like, so, oh. so out of all of them, yeah, okay. that was like kickboxing wasn't an issue. Nor was, nor was, nor was the S and C. Nor was you just was. Yeah, I got smashed, but 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 I had some experience of it before the good fight, like a couple of weeks. Maybe I had about eight. To oh, because you, you joined the um, Talking Academy. Talking Academy. Shout out to Talking Academy, man. Respect to uh, who's coach, the, your professor, bro? Coach David Webb. Easy, bro. Uh, Shout out to Coach David Webb. Big up to him and um. um so you done that two weeks before you even started? Two and a half weeks, oh, I did a session at Khalid okay. as well. And that's when I first met Ibrahim. Right. Okay. You'll find me talking about Ibrahim a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get it. You know what's Hey, he's living rent free in your head, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is, bro? Have you seen that um, in Rocky? Rocky, when he's got a picture of Ivan Drago on, he goes, ah. Yeah. The thing is, Ibrahim sees all my stories on Instagram. He follows me. I don't follow him back. <laughs> I'm not following him back. <laughs> but you should follow him though. There has to be some distance. You know why you should follow him? There has to be some distance. I see, I see why you follow him. You see, you see what he does to everyone else. <laughs> 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 well, you think I don't see that? But he doesn't even post. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, no, Ibrahim, no, Ibrahim don't even post, oh, no, no, bro. No, 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 so, no. watch out, yeah. Ibrahim was a huge wake up call for me, bro. Huge. Yeah. The, the whole essence of the good fight was done in that one role of Ibrahim yeah. to, some, to some extent. I turned up on one Saturday. Yeah. I've never sparred in jiu-jitsu before. I've never sparred in jiu-jitsu before. Khalid put me, I had Coach Shamil first. He took it easy on me, smashed me still. Shamil. Coach Shamil. Uh, and then I had Ibrahim. Bro. And Ibrahim, he didn't seem like he was on giving me any leeway for anything. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. So, no. so, so, so he submitted me. But like, you know the worst thing about him? He's respectful. Of yeah. course. No, that's no, annoying. He, that's the best thing. That's why I like him. You <laughs> know what? Joking. You know why I put him with Ibrahim? Yeah. Because I know he, I know he's not going to hurt him. Yeah. But he's going to let you know that I'm going to tap you 50 yeah, times, yeah. bro. Yeah. And that's what was the best thing. <laughs> and it was like, no, no, because it was like, you know, like when you get a new person, yeah, they all automatically- Yeah, okay, so like, what was, what, why did you put him with Ibrahim, bro? Yeah, because what happens is any, any, anyone that starts, so Dilly had some sort of fight experience, uh, done a bit of boxing. So they bring that into training. Yeah. So they bring that into jiu-jitsu. <laughs> I, I, like other guys, I know other guys. <laughs> did you though? <laughs> They're doing it. Be honest, bro. It's in there. Did you walk in and thinking, you know what? I'm a man. I might be able to handle this. Like, 
Did you? There did was you, an aspect of that. Serious? A, 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 little, a little bit, bruv. Not a lot. There, there was an aspect of like, how much? How much is this guy gonna hurt me? <laughs> how much are you? Gonna, how much are you gonna hurt so me? Now, you think in your head? This is what I said to Dilly. In your head, but uh, you've heard this as well, Zach. You probably heard this as well, yeah. You know when man gets angry, angry, bro. Bodies drop. Yeah, bro. I don't know what happens, bro. <laughs> I, I lose rip. everything and then I don't know, bro. I was like, really? Yeah. yeah? Come, let's roll, bro. You get angry. <laughs> tap, 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 yeah. tap. Yeah. tap. <laughs> then he gets more angry, he's happy even more. So what happened was, he, he didn't come with that. I yeah. come, yeah. But I understood that- Deep you, down. No, no, I understood. Like, obviously, if you've had a couple of street fights, if you've done boxing, you're going to come into that. There's something there, There's it? something in there. Oh, but I can handle myself. Yeah. I've had fights before. Yeah. But then what happens is when someone's beating you on skill and you're watching him and he's like, this guy's not even trying and he's gonna break my arm. He's choking me, he's doing this. Then what happens is like, you go, ah, I want to be a student now. Mm. That happens. And that's that's when you that get That was them. the purpose of that. That's when you get them. Mm. It's like, ah, you don't know everything. And you think you can fight, but you need to learn. Yeah. This is this 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 is our stuff. That's just, that was just jujitsu, bro. Wrestling, another thing. And then mixing it all together, which is, and then he found yeah. out towards the end. Yeah. Oh, you didn't that, know that was. That. Um, uh, I only found out what what Holland had for me in store in terms of. No, but he didn't even tell me who was right. If you actually look at one of the episodes, he goes, "Yeah, my white belts," and then there's purples <laughs> and blues and colours there. And I'm like, and I, was like I, was, I was like, Charlie wasn't even a white either. So no, the only person that was white. Was my well, he was actually Malik. he actually is white, bro. Who? Charlie. Charlie was blue belt. Yeah, but he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a joke. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Okay. It's a terrible joke, bro. Sorry, <laughs> Dilly. I'm not, I'm, not no, hard as, I'm not the hardest got me up against guys that look like saying I have a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah. Like, Charlie. He actually does look like he's coming there. You know what I mean? Such a nice kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. But, um, um, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, yeah, Ibrahim. Top lad. Top lad. <laughs> okay, so actually, we didn't even talk about the format. What about the format? So, when did you decide on the format? Was it always going to be separate? Uh, martial arts and then mix it up later. Oh, was I, le it? I left that to Khalid. Oh, so you yeah. decided everything? Yeah, so what? So when Dilly came with the concept, I was like, okay, what is the best way to do this? Because um, obviously at the end of it, he was going to do MMA. So my, my, my goal was, okay, let me think of what goes into an MMA camp and if we could put that in seven days. Oh, okay. And that was the idea. So some sort of jiu-jitsu, wrestling, kickboxing, an MMA session, SNC, and then the final day we will do the sparring and stuff. So I, I pitched, I said to Dilly, I got this, this, I think this would work. And it would, no, I said, I said, I said, well, I said to my guy, it would work. And also um, it would show the fatigue. Right. That both doing boxing is, or doing kickboxing is completely different to, to doing wrestling. Doing wrestling is completely different to doing uh, SNC. Yeah. So like you have, you have to be, um, you have to train in each of them and then you have appreciation. Okay, right, man, I, after SNC sessions, my legs are fatigued. How do I go and box now or kickbox now? So that was the whole concept I, I thought. Yeah, it was. I know it's, it's also important to know that there's obviously preparation just to spend that week with Khalid as well. Because some of the meetings we had before and Khalid said, look, you're going to have to come to me with something. If you're going to be coming and you're gassed within 15 minutes, then there's only so much from the session we can get. Oh. I mean, we can still do, we can still train, but if you're finished within 15 minutes, it's going to make things very difficult. So obviously that's when you gave me athlete A, I started carving it right. Okay, so how long before before you started? February the 22nd, I remember the day. Okay, uh, actually, bro, Khalid. Khalid Sanakam, bro. Yeah, I'm, uh, what's going on? Diddy, what are you doing? I'm on keto, bro, I've been on keto. Get off keto, yeah? Sure, get off keto. <laughs> what are you doing? Bodybuilding, yeah, stop, I'm sending you athlete A. That was it. Do you okay. remember that conversation? Yeah. It was February the 22nd, I think it was a Sunday or a Monday, locked off the cigarettes, because that was worrying me now. Okay, can we talk I, a bit about the cigarettes, bro? I kept that away from Khalid. Okay, he didn't know you he smoked? He didn't know that, bruv. So how long were you he's, smoking he's, for, bro? in his face when I told him, he just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did you, if, are you, are you comfortable yeah, talking about it? Are you sure, yeah? yeah, yeah okay, cool. So how long did you smoke for? Uh, I would say, non-stop 17 years so how many cigarettes a day roughly i was day? never a 20 a day i was never a 10 a day it was always like five to seven a day five to eight a day usually after meals first thing in the morning with a tea or a coffee one before you go to sleep one after every munch okay yeah all right and I'm still training now. i still play cricket and you I'm completely off cigarettes now nah i've had a few relapses so you have i've had a few relapses okay Re few stressful relapses. situations is that um boredom um, boredom, boredom. Uh, bro. I don't. Your life is not boring, bro. <laughs> How are you bored, bro? No, no, no. Look, first and foremost, right. Uh, the fact that I stopped for 104 days, yeah. right. 
uh, and I did it with relative ease because after the first five to seven days, it was a very difficult five to seven days. Um, and then after that, it was just like, okay, fine, alhamdulillah. Oh, you realize that it, it was habit and boredom. Habit, yeah, it literally yeah. is habit and boredom, right? Why do you need to smoke something after you eat? That's because you made a habit out of it. Your body's your body's used to it. It wants it's like that dopamine. Yeah, it's you know, yeah. For it, yeah. So I locked that off because um, I thought if I carry on this and I rock up with Khalid for that week, it's going to be a joke. Um, and I felt the changes pretty much within seven to ten days. Wow. And coach, uh, my boxing coach, uh, coach Carl Hazel, was big up to him. He knew that I should smoke back in the day. He actually said he was one of the reasons why you never made it in boxing because. You should smoke, you should mess about, you never should take it seriously. So he knew I stopped as well. And I got back to boxing now because it had similarities to athlete eight, the circuit drills they did. There were similarities in terms of the tempo and mm. so, so, so. So it was, there was a lot of preparation just for that week. What people saw, or so, what, was, what was documented was the time I spent with Khalid that week. Before that, there were conversations, there were long voice notes, there was me trying to carve it right, there was like, and I did. So the changing, alhamdulillah, from that as well. Because I was saying, Khalid, so we'll talk about a diet because that's important. You know, yeah. Because you, you quit, you quit smoking. And I was training on an empty stomach in a fasting state because I'd be doing yeah. keto and intermittent fasting. Khalid said, "Yeah, you'll shred weight." He goes, "But look, that's not the way forward. You need to be eating before training, and you won't be, and you'll still be losing weight." That's the thing about you know, that's the maddest thing about carbit right, mashallah, yeah, is that one of the fears is that you can't have carbs. You know when Khalid said to me, "You can eat carbs, you can smash it before and after training." I was like. Yeah, Rabbi. So how much did you lose? I lost in total 14.6 kgs in seven and a half weeks. One second, oh, man. Let me just do the maths, bro. It was about two kg a week. Which is healthy. And I was still strong, bruv. Alhamdulillah, I was still lifting. Because I, 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 I done keto, well, paleo, but it mashes you up, bro. I only do, uh, yeah. I, I had, um, uh, I've, I've had, I've had uh, piles from, from keto. Uh, and it's one of the actually common outcomes because uh, I was doing dirty constipation, and I was doing dirty keto, so I was, I'd have done meat three times a day, and I still oh. lose bare weight. It's called dirty keto. Right. But when Khalis, when I jumped onto carpet right, wallahi, I felt so many changes, felt strong and doing workouts, and just the fact that I could smash carbs before and after training was mm. made me so much more happier. So, are you still on on carpet right? Not really, but but, I, but, but, of... but, but, but carpet right has become. Uh, an aspect of how I eat now right. by habit. Right. So I will eat carbs before training. I will smash carbs and I will avoid it. I'll try my best to avoid it when, I'm, when there's no reason to do so. Because mm. that's basically because why? You, what's, what's your reason for eating carbs then if you're not training? And that's I've, I've that's just become my habit now. That's wicked, man. And has it changed your attitude towards food? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because another thing that Holly said to me goes, "Look, don't don't be a party pooper. Don't rock up to your mom and dad's house and." You know, everyone's having rice and curry and biryani or whatever it is, and then you know, yeah, I'm carbonate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 from my locality that were in touch with me that had the book, Alhamdulillah, I've only had positive, but I did it religiously. Because for me, I could not embarrass myself in camera and I couldn't, certainly yeah. couldn't embarrass myself in front of Khalid for that week. So I had to do as much prep as possible just to do that week. What's and your favourite carpet right meal? Rice and chicken. Rice and lamb. Rice and beef. No, it's so specific. Can, can, what, can, what? Button, can I just button for a sec? Go on, go on. So carpet right is not actually you eat this and eat that. It's actually a, a, a way of life. So basically, like what did he say now? It's just the way I eat now. He's just mm. going to eat. And he'll know what good healthy choices are. Hundred percent. Rather than doing, I can only eat chicken and, and broccoli, broccoli, man. and that's it. You can, mm. you can, you're able to go out, select foods, hundred percent. And then, if you're at your mum's house or wherever you are, you, you're able to choose what is good healthy living. Well, I think um, it's got the portion sizes are good as well because there's that bit where. It, we can tell you like a fistful of this yeah. and a handful of this. So we can. I mean, obviously, I said to Dilly, I go, you can go. Like if you're generally just trying to look, eat healthy, you can just follow carbit right. Now, if you want to go into more in depth, if you've got a competition coming up or anything, then we can look at macros yeah. and start like, oh, only eat 2,500 calories, but still using the same principles. Once, <clears throat> I, I, like how we teach jiu-jitsu and wrestling, everything's about principles. When you understand how to eat uh, healthily, the principles of eating good, you, 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 it becomes your way of life and it's easy for you. And inshallah, that's, that was, see like now, that's a, you haven't told me this, mm. but that's a testament of what we were trying to, what I was trying to achieve with Carbit, right? Was 
he got the get, he got the book, followed it, and now you don't need me no more. Yeah, yeah. And then you carry on doing it yourself. Well, like everyone from Bedford in my local area, and anyone anyone who's spoken to me, and I said, to, and then they're like, "Brother, what diet?" I said, "Look, I've done keto, and I've done intermittent fasting, and 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 I'm not saying I will never revisit that again to lose weight quick, mm. but I don't think it was a healthy way to lose weight. Whereas carbon right." I swear to you, it's just, it's just, you just know what you can and can't eat and when to do and when not to do and how much. It just becomes. That's another thing. You know, you know what I find about, <clears throat> I said, I've mentioned before, but what, what the hardest thing about dieting is, is the social exclusion you have. It doesn't um, have to be like that, man. You don't, it doesn't have to, yeah. That's what, that's my whole point. Because Diddy was like, I was oh, I got to my mother in law, I got to my mom, so she made, and, they, and they, and bruv. You go to your mother in law's? Yeah. Oh. But, but everyone, but. The, uh, <laughs> but I'm but, joking. <laughs> but Mohammed, when you, when you have, when you, when you, at uh, someone's house yeah. and you feel guilty that you didn't participate or no they actually make you they actually make you yeah, feel, come on oh, like come and on. then you feel yeah, like you have to nice. compromise, compromise. Yeah, and yeah. then you feel guilty after that you now you can eat and you'll be happy you'll be cool like kind of thing yeah. there's no there's there's no guilt trips there's no you don't feel bad you can have them days uh imran has blue bag days <laughs> like me yeah so you have days where you have day yeah. off and stuff hamla is good so um i think that was the best thing that yeah, because that diet part of it, I mean, like you always that. say it's like 80%. I say diet, it's the changing the way you eat. I mean, it's like you said to me last year, it's like 80% of training. It is. Because if, if, you, if you don't, if you're eating whatever and you're training, you're kind of... For example, Mohammed, let, let me explain a quick thing to you. Yeah? Say you train really hard and um, you don't eat correctly after, your body is in a state of um, repair, but yeah. you haven't fed it. The, you haven't fed it the sort uh, the fuel or the sort of resources that it needed to to repair itself. Yeah. So the next day when you go try to train, you get injured or so, something, or you, you can't perform at a level that you want to perform. So we're always looking at performance. Yeah. How can I get you to perform? But also, guys from recreational to professional, bro, why why are you killing yourself eating uh, like just rice and rice cakes or rice whatever? Cakes. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. like, come on, man. You don't, you, there's uh, there's Oops. better ways. There's better ways to do it. There was one point where I did go against Khalid's advice. Um, is in Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, Khalid said, "Look, train after iftar, um, because you have food, you relax, you don't get salat the way." And but I didn't. I trained every time just before iftar, and I and and, and I boxed. Right. The, I boxed. A lot, I spent a lot of time at the boxing gym whilst I was fasting. And most of the weight was lost in Ramadan. Most of the weight. Yeah. Most of the weight. So if you mm. so if you say three weeks. If you say three weeks before, seven weeks, yeah, seven and a half weeks, yeah, most most of the weight was lost in Ramadan because I was I was training, and I was calorie training deficit, yeah, training, yeah, 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 everything. Yeah. Uh, and and what did, what did you feel like? What I feel like, I'm, I didn't, I've never felt so focused in my life. Hmm. It's that fasting that kind of just, I'm just and spiritually just, as well, just, bro. Just the preparation for the good fight. I've never been the most sharpest. No, that Ramadan bit. Oh, that was that's what that's what I'm talking about. More yeah. intensity, right? Because 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 spiritually, you're on point. I was looking forward to Hajj and I was training hard, things were working, and everything Holly was telling me to do, I was seeing those fruits. Mm. So, what was, we kind of answered it, man, but what was the best experience for you? Jiu Jitsu, man. It was, yeah? Yeah. yeah. In what way? I love Jiu Jitsu, bro. In what way? Because Jiu Jitsu, I'm, 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 because, look, as a, as a, you just told me you got savaged by Ibrahim and your couch, thing and as this. an MMA couch uh, <laughs> supporter, yeah, as someone who's always watched MMA from the days of Bravo Channel and Pride and Strike Force, you know, I mean, you, you watch it from entertainment, but you never truly understand the ground game. That's mm. the truth. If you don't know wrestling and jujitsu, you're not going to ever fully appreciate, or remotely appreciate the ground game. But I started jujitsu, and you start literally start seeing fights completely differently, mm. positions, leverage, what what my my he gave up unknowingly. You understand? Where next one persevered in a position because he gave up something. Boom. I never used to see UFC fights like that. And, and let me just quickly just nip this in the bud now, yeah? I say that, then I'll mention it again probably in about 15 years. <laughs> I couldn't believe a young kid did that to me. Yeah. He's, and by the way, I've heard this so many times from other people, bro. Including myself, bro. He submitted me yeah. six times in two minutes, you know? Six times. Like, if you divide that, that's every 20 seconds. Yeah. Then you got a reset as well, so yeah. it's probably shorter than that. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, every, 50, every 15, 20 seconds, I'm just submitting. Every I'm just tapping, and and and, and he's just got the coldest face. Yeah. And I'm like, how did a kid just do that to me? Why did he do that? How, how did you allow that to happen? And I had no sway or control or remote influence over what he was doing to me. So you got your first stripe, right? You're two stripes now, aren't it? I've one stripe. 
Jiu-jitsu. That was a big moment for me, man. <laughs> so, have you fought anyone who's just started jiu-jitsu? Have you ever rolled with anyone who just started jiu-jitsu? What are you trying to get? No, I'm trying to see like yes. your progression. You have yes, the progression. Have. So, yes, how have you dealt with that situation of someone new coming in? And have you tapped anyone yet? Yes, I've tapped. Right. You have, yeah. yeah what, 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 what did you tap? <laughs> a neck, uh, neck crank. Was it a child? Uh, no, it was a man. It was a grown man. It was a grown man. It was a grown man. A neck crank. So yeah. g- can you describe it for us? So basically what's happened now is I've got his back. Yeah. I've not got the hooks in properly. Right. Right. But that's that, that's besides the point. Right. right. Also like, no, you can't do this, can you? They can just do a, what's uh, it called? Foot, an anchor, they can, ankle lock. Ankle lock. Yeah. So, but, but, so I must have gone, and I'm like, the guy's not giving me his chin. Bond this. I'll put my whole arm across his face. I just did that and he tapped. Right. Very unhinged. Right, okay. Any other type but, of... But I got the tap. This is the my only tap. My cleanest submission... Cleanest one, I want to say, yeah. My cleanest one, yeah, is a cross-collar choke I've done. And I've done from God? Huh? From God, yeah. Okay. And I've done another one. Uh, my favourite nogi is uh, the head and arm. I love it. Oh, uh, the one uh, uh, Islam did to oh, Oliveira. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. And, and the certain things which Khalid taught me, which I implemented in my classes at the academy, what was the thing that I, that I did once? You know when you... Tabang Kuswi. Yeah. The what, sorry? That. So basically, my guys. So he's in my guard. He's got up. Right, he's not put his legs back. I've, 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 I've oh, the right, the hip, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hip bump. No, oh, no, so you grip the back of his uh, uh, ankles. Yeah, ankles you, 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 you put your knees together yeah. and you, yeah, you bump. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So certain things, but yeah, jiu-jitsu is mad. I love it. So and I got my first competition as well. Yes, in um, February, Norfolk or something. Yeah, yeah. The Norfolk? Norfolk Open. I'm going back to my old university. Mashallah. You in Norwich? Inshallah. So, so I look forward to kind of. Uh, I'm probably not going to come, bro. Yeah, that's fine. It's too far, bro. <laughs> that's fine. He was thinking about the same. No, no, I was like, <laughs> Norfolk, rude boy. That's it's far, it's bro. Long. It's long. It's long. It's long. It is long. It's literally at the bum end of the British Isles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anything outside of M25 is techie, bro. Mm. Do you that's know what cool. I'm saying? Um, but that's the best experience and the best thing yeah. I've taken from the good fight is, is, is uh, jiu-jitsu. Um, and the fact that it's something that I have, I've taken a great liking to. Do you to think it. you're going to do it long term? Inshallah. 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 Okay, you said wrestling was the hardest sport you, you learned, right? Mm-hmm. Um, actually, let me take a pause there, bro. I want to I want to bring up your first episode. Did you just just okay. Just you walking into Friendford. I want to see. Your, I just want to want you guys to see his face. His yeah. face. Yeah, he just the the optimism in his face. <laughs> <laughs> and just talk me through. Uh, just to skip it, go to the, when he's walking in the car park, bro. Months have been an interesting... Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what's coming, bro. <laughs> uh, full screen it, bro. <laughs> so, guys at home, like, pause it here, pause it here. Pause it here. Pause it. Look at his face here. This is after. <laughs> this is you awful. shot this after, yeah, innit? This is after. Okay, you shot this after. This is well after. Yeah, so now, now let's go to him coming out of his car. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Look. Oh, he's already complaining. He's already complaining. <laughs> but what is his face, Zach? In fact, I'm not sure if I should profile him. You know what? He's mad optimistic, bro. It's Pete as well. <laughs> not so Pete. Not that Pete did much either to me. Pete was yeah. a wicked training partner, yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. But when I saw him, and Jamal's like, yeah, the guy's not that big, bro. Yeah, he's, he's all right, bro. Yeah. And, and I'm just, and then I realized. Look I at realized that face. Look, it's a guy who doesn't know what's coming, bro. Yeah, yeah you notice I smile less as episodes. Yeah, progress. bro. I smile less. Here we go. Look. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> this has been my memories. And this Pete. MashaAllah. Oh, he's not budging on the start time, you know. Is it? He didn't. He didn't budge on the start time. So, oh yeah, because you said you, you were saying that you dro- drove in. Yeah, or, no, yeah. no, no. Like, so, was, what do we say? A ten a.m. start, was it? Ten a.m. start, ten to twelve, twelve thirty, bro. So I'm leaving better at eight o'clock. Holly, please give me another hour, bro. No, no, it's, it's ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten. He's setting a precedence, bro. I had to. I had to. I had to. Yeah, because then you'd start asking more, innit? No, never. I was coming for sixty-seven but, but, miles, bro. Bro, can I say something? Fatigue makes cowards of us all, bro. And I was never late, was I? No. I was early in some no, sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're very punctual, mashallah, bro. Yeah. Anyway, even from my experience, you'd be late. I've said that to some people. <laughs> so that's the first episode. You guys can go catch it on Five Pillars. Mm-hmm. Um, I highly, highly recommend that you go watch it. 
and and use this as a companion just to get a bit of a background to you know like a little bit of a precursor on on, on what was going on the behind the scenes stuff we're going to go to the last episode because i'm not going to show every single episode no, it's fine, it's cool, it's cool. but if we had a three hour joe rogan thing we could have done it yeah but um in a minute we'll go to the last episode yeah we got solar. okay okay so i think that's a good point we'll pause here pray maghrib and yeah. then we yeah, yeah, we'll no reconvene problem. yeah no okay refreshed i'm back um dilly so we, we we left off of um am i smashing white belts yes yes i've i've, I've had my way i've had in, in advantages <laughs> i beg you we need to zoom in on his face look at the smile <laughs> you know what i showed his message i did this today <laughs> pulled this move off today <laughs> yeah the double ankle. and there's also be days where i've got smashed yeah. oh, i don't want to go back so, so there was a moment I, I don't know how it was for Khalid. I don't know if I was doing his editing. Why is yeah. this called missing me? About yeah. his jujitsu journey, like I don't know. What are you doing? You no, tell me. No, tell me the truth. No, no, sorry. Oh, that's hundred. No, that makes me feel bad. No, he will tell you. You know, he'll tell you if it's annoying, bro. Yeah. No, but no, but, but there'd be times where I'd also be like, I got smashed today. I don't feel like going back, really. Like, why am I even doing this? Like, why am I going? But I know exactly what's what the outcome is, and that was because to begin with, I was seeing session as winning and losing. Mm. I'm going to win today's bar. Oh, my goodness. But that was done very quickly. I got away. As soon as I started seeing some progress in my own game with other white belts. But right, you right. need that. The thing is, can I, oh, the, the next question I was going to ask you. I wish you cut the brothers up as well. Yeah. They were just like, yeah, what's this jiu jitsu stuff? Oh, like uh, civilians, yeah? Yeah, civilians. <laughs> It's like they showed the witchcraft or something, bro. Yeah. What the hell is this? There you go, there you go a clue, bro. So now you're not a civilian anymore, bro. I still am. No, no, you're not a civilian, bro. As soon as you put a white belt on, that's it. It's like you've become a white belt one stripe. Yeah. One stripe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a stripe, bro. Yeah. So, so when's when your next stripe? When you're still a white belt, you're, that, that, you're civilian. Yeah, yeah. Sah, sah, yeah. That's true. Oh, one stripe sure. means that. And shall I get my second next month as well? Inshallah, inshallah. 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 What's their setup like over there in Tukon? Uh, Tukon. Tukon. Sorry. Tukon, uh, run by David Webb, who's under Mauricio. Um, oh, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's under Mauricio. Right. Um, very love. It's, it's a very, it's a very good gym. Um, I wouldn't necessarily describe it as a competition gym. Um, I would say the vast majority there are hobbies, but there are a handful who do compete. Very welcoming guys. And the reason I went to Tokon was because my uncle goes there, Baral Mia, who's a brown belt himself, um, done MMA fights before, and he encouraged me to join Tokon Academy. Uh, the other option was another gym called Kraken. That was an MMA gym, but I just wanted to focus just on jujitsu. And because I know there's a relationship there between my uncle and Coach David, right. made me feel very welcome. Alhamdulillah. And, um, oh, wait, quickly, have you rolled with your uncle? Not yet. Oh, no, I'll tell you why. He, he's, he's, he's had a mad injury. He had a, a couple of operations, but Alhamdulillah, oh, he's no, better no, now. Okay. Alhamdulillah, he had like sinus operations, much better now. Uh, yeah, he's copper as well. Uh, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. <laughs> I was thinking, what? But we're both looking forward to it. Like, I was with him just this weekend. He goes, I look forward to it when we eventually roll. Oh, yeah, sure. How yeah. much older he's do you think? Right? Huh? He's going to twist you up. Like, oh, yeah. I'm definitely, I'll have that feeling. But you know, he's had an operation, so you can always, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, push and, his and, nose and, down. And, and, <laughs> and he also says he's going to help me prepare for the competition and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and um, yeah, we're probably going to end up rolling in, in about two weeks. Inshallah, inshallah. Because I'm coming back from my family. Is he much older than you? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's mid forties, late forties. Okay. Right, mashallah. Yeah. Mashallah. So, how much has it take like taken over your life? Bear. Is it? It sometimes it's cringe, you know. It's just constant. It's just <laughs> kind of like like like. like 80, 90 percent of my feed now is BJJ fanatics, the Rotolo brothers, um, Gordon, um, um, Gordon Ryan. All the, it's just all of that now. Are we going to see like a? Hold on wait a minute. Do you shrimp when you move in your bed? Huh? Move <laughs> 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 on each side. It's so easy. All right. Uh, nice, yeah. <laughs> mad leg movements. Yeah, from one side to another. Watch oh. aid day. Watch aid day, oh, man. You get up. You get up. Technical get up. Yeah. No, I swear to <laughs> God. I swear to God, I thought I was a weirdo. I just shrimp. I shrimp in bed. No, everyone does it. Yeah, everyone does. Everyone does it. And on aid day, you looking for handles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the brother get underhooks on yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Never get underhooks, bro. Don't even let my mom. Get under hooks, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's, it's consumed me quite yeah. a bit, to be honest. Uh, to the point where I've felt some of the areas of my work and priorities actually affected. It just became everything like jujitsu, 
this account. I'm on, I'm on a BJJ Fanatics group on uh, Facebook, right? Wild group, like 250, 300,000 members, bro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you my, comment, bro? Huh? Yeah, I comment? comment. I share my clips from podcasts and stuff all the time. Actually, not all the time. I cram- Here and there, I do. Yeah. Because you have to understand that it's still predominantly North Americans yeah, and yeah. Brazilians. But it's a good group. But it's consuming quite a bit. Does anyone reply to you on this? Yeah, you have conversations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, serious? I, I shared clips from the Fraza Habi podcast. Uh, if you have a podcast, uh, yeah. I, I, pro- I promote even the good fight there as well. Okay. But I said, look, this is a faith-based documentary. In concert, uh, some people enjoyed it and there's lots of Muslim members there okay, as well. Sure, yeah. So yeah, it's consumed me quite a bit, but I like it. Once a journalist, always a journalist, bro. Right. Sure. i got a fear. Are we going to see like a Dili Hussein kind of what do you mean? Like expose into the, the underworld of the Jiu Jitsu. That's me, Dili Hussein. I'm here. They're whacking my 50 pounds for a stripe. They're charging my 50 pounds for a stripe. Exactly. Jiu Jitsu politics and all this stuff. I'd love to see that, bro. No, because I'm going to get smashed off. No, why? No, because I need to do that at least when I'm brown or something. No, but we've got a crew now, bro. You're not rolling by yourself now, bro. We've got a crew. Really? In that case, I'm going to start next week, bro. That's it, bro. We've got to do expose, bro. We've got to do. Like uh, Sponsored no fake black belts Fake but black belts That would be quite sick Your training Hamda is, is such a good thing to do Wicked But there's fitna in it Big there time is. I've always said there's fitna in it Because what happens Especially if you're not guided correctly if um, the, the fitna comes from Where you think you're really good Your ego You think you're really strong But remember all that stuff Goes after a little while um, You're at the top at one stage and then you're going to be at the bottom. Circle so, of life. Yeah, but and that's, and, that, and that's the thing. I think if we, especially as Muslims, we remember that, then you kind of, your dealings with people will be better. Um, but. And I think like, when everything's tied into, so if, if if everything that you are is tied into jujitsu or combat sports, then no, you've no, failed, no. bro. You can't, you yeah, can't. Can't. You've actually you failed, can't. bro. That, 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 yeah. was a re- that was a really good, yeah. Above, if, if boxing's only, like, or jujitsu or martial arts has only taught you martial arts, then, yeah. then you haven't learned the lesson, bro. In fact, one of the hadith that Miha actually discussed, uh, I think it was in the wrestling episode, <clears throat> it was to do with when the companions were wrestling in the masjid. Mm. And the Prophet came awesome. and he wasn't entirely impressed with what was going on. Because the issue wasn't the wrestling. The issue was, why are you wrestling? Mm. And the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, is to see who from amongst us is the strongest. Yeah. And the famous hadith came, it is not the one who is the strongest wrestler, but the one who holds back his anger. And there's very vari- variation of that hadith. So if you see what the problem is- We have is, that sewn into our geese, bro. So- you know the yeah, yeah, geese yeah. that we got, we got it That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know that. Yeah. So yeah. the Prophet's issue was not that the Sahaba were wrestling. It is, why are you wrestling? And when the Sahaba responded by saying, we are wrestling to see who is the strongest among us. Yeah. The Prophet responded by saying, that is not how you measure strength. You measure strength by actually holding back your anger or in a state of anger. He actually specifically said, not the wrestler. Mm. He actually said in that hadith. Mm. Oh, so, man. so look, I mean, I, we actually discussed that in episode two. Um, all I'm saying is that, look, brothers, jiu-jitsu practitioners, MMA, whatever, that can't be your nucleus. The nucleus mm. is your deen. That, that is just an outlet that helps you perhaps harness and channel some of the issues or, or strengths and energies that you have. That's something that you do, isn't it? That's just something so, that you do, do you know what I mean? I think you talk about this a lot. Like last time we had the conversation is that, Living in the West, we try and uh, reconcile. We say Western values, Muslim values. Does it fit? Does Muslim values fit in with Western values? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It's, it's almost programmed inside us. Okay. Uh, remember when fasting, we used to fast and all of a sudden now fast is, fasting has become a fad now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone's talking about intermittent fasting. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, Islam is correct now. Yeah, hijama. Now hijama. They're, now, now they're selling lotas on Amazon as well. Oh, there you go, bro. Yeah. Squatty potties. I don't know what you're calling me in Arabic. Lota, uh, lota bro. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? have got a mad word for it. Uh, I don't know. We just, some, we don't, some, some do we have a word for it, bro? Yeah, I heard there's a mad is sounding it? word you like for it. How are you saying lota? I'm not saying bodna. Bodna. Bodna, lota. Bodna, come on. The thing. <laughs> He got called out, bro. <laughs> More people speak Hindi and Urdu than Bengali. Come on, man. Shout out to the Bengalis, yeah. man. Um, but yeah, so so it's like, we, so the same thing with, with, with combat, like with Jiu-Jitsu, it's, it's even stupid to even think about it, bro. It's like, it's not, does Jiu-Jitsu fit with Islam? Uh, does Islam fit with Jiu-Jitsu? It's the other way around, bro. Way around. And whatever doesn't fit, you throw it away, bro. Always, always, 100%. I feel, you know what? I say one thing, bro. Um, it must have at least some correlation to to Khabib and McGregor and all that. Mm. Muslims do now have a formidable and growing reputation 
amongst non-Muslims in the grappling oh. jujitsu scene. I see that because I, I hear my peers talking about it and you can hear how they talk about the Dagestanis. Or I hear them talking about from the Central Asian man. Yeah, so, so now it's the thing now that wrestling and grappling has become somewhat synonymous with, with, with a strong Muslim man. And I think that's very positive and we can take that mm. from the community. But if there's intra beef happening between academies that goes beyond something that's healthy and permissible, then now we need to always rectify something. Even what happened recently with good. Hamza and Abu Bakr. Yeah, yeah. Norman, Norman, yeah, it took Khadir off one phone call, innit? <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> what know, he said on the phone. I, Actually, no, I don't want to ruin it. Let's not, let's yeah, not, because we're going to have to edit this but, out. Yeah, but you can probably yeah. tell what the phone calls Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. <laughs> now. Now. And make a video about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But again, Quick. it's like, uh, Khalid, you've been around, like the stories he's told, I wish we could even talk about it on the podcast. Like, like the stories that Khalid tells me sometimes of what people show on, on, on Insta and what people are really like. Wallahi, the one story he told me a few years ago, it actually made me depressed, bro. Because I know I, I know it sounds very naive. Oh, what's new? People are putting a persona online, yeah? But you know when it's someone that you think, oh, this person's like this. Oh, is this the, the I'm not going to say it, but the Muslim card. Which Muslim there, there's, 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 no, loads, loads, there's loads, loads. But that's loads. one of the cards, isn't it? Yeah, it's loads, you, man. You play the Muslim card yeah, 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 to, yeah. to, to garner loads. support. Yeah. Look, I think, but also being completely opposite of what your does that make sense? Yeah, that's dangerous. Though. That's this that's, for me that's is dangerous. that's that's dangerous. Look, you know when the, you know through the filming of the good fight and when we were posting teasers and content and stuff. I didn't tell Khalid this. I didn't tell him everything. But we actually get lots of DMs and, and lots of messages from brothers. Brother, can you put me in touch with Khalid? Brother, can you give me his number? Brother, can you? Give me? And. I was actually engaging some of the people. I said, I said, look, that's, can I just ask you, well, what is it that's yeah. not public? What do you need? Yeah, what, do you need? Mm -hmm. what is it that's not publicly accessible right now from his website and the details there that you need to now take it further? And now, brother, I just wanted some advice. And just some, I'm like, look, listen, yeah? I'm like, listen, yeah? What you think you're seeing, <laughs> yeah, it's not fun, yeah? So if you're going to nag and pester another man about what's already accessible on his website and he fix up, yeah? And, and it boils down to the reasons. Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And there were bad times for the, the good fight where I thought, why? but there were times where I regretted it. There were times where, yeah, well, like, there, was, there was times I should tell Jamal and Pramila, brother, why am I even doing this? Like, like, I could have, we could have fulfilled all the objectives without me having to do this. Do what? Spend a week with Khalid, get smashed, get smashed right. on finale day, all the preparation for it, the money spent on the project, all these kind of things, all the resources spent on, what was, the, what was, the, we spoke about the objectives. Is it informative and educating the people? Is it entertaining? And is there an aspect of that hour, right? I, we could have produced something that didn't have to entail that, mm. <laughs> but we did. And I had to question my own, my own intentions. Was a it few because times. you felt like your masculinity was being challenged on camera? Is that what it was? No, I think what was happening is I was having issues pertaining to, uh, remember we spoke about- Your image. No, there was, there was just certain things happening in my life. Where I wanted to smash guys. I smashed people and that wasn't the right thing to do. And that certainly wasn't the right mindset to be making hajj, bruv. Right. So what do you mean? Your intention was to train and go smash someone? No, it, it was the fact that I was going to- tried to run you over. Yeah. Do you remember the story, bruv? <laughs> <laughs> remember the story? Oh yeah, the yeah. Story? Do I, okay, no, okay, okay. I was okay. experiencing certain yeah. people with certain things with certain people in my life, bruv. And my approach to how I was going to deal with it wasn't the correct one. He said it wasn't an Islamic one. Right. And at the same time, within six months, I was supposed to be making Hajj. So I just realized a lot of stuff that wasn't making sense was happening in my life. But did you feel that your masculinity was being challenged for? What, on camera? Yeah. Well, you know, of course, constantly. Round the clock, bruv. Mm. Armand, um, there was one of the kickboxing sessions I didn't include in the episode. Uh, it was Khalid went, go shadow box. He goes, go shadow box. A uh, couple of rounds. He says, I'm shadow boxing. I'm doing my thing. And uh, so he goes, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, he goes, look how big the space you had. He goes, and this is the space you occupied. He goes, now, unless you're going to be fighting with my guy, they're not moving, having it out. Because <laughs> that's how you're supposed to, you shadow yeah. box the way you're supposed to. And I yeah. thought, I was like, Khalid is actually correct. I was humbling for me. Because Khalid had to remind me of some very basics. 
where was my defense? Every time I was throwing something, there was nothing coming back. I wasn't really doing anything in defense. This was in boxing. Pure chore choreography I was yeah. doing, yeah? And with the noises as well. I kind of just came and said, bruv, fix up. <laughs> fix up quick, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, then, and then I said to you, bruv, that's not going to get you. But also, you know what? Like, we all, as men, yeah? Yeah. We all, like, like obviously, like, um, Imran last week videoed me getting savage by I say savage I'm joking but yeah but I was rolling with Khalid <laughs> you got savage <laughs> no but being savage you means savage. can I say something I did, no no can I say something being savage means that he had to try innit like he's actually but he wasn't trying to do that does that make sense yeah. so like I would have known That's if I was. yeah if I would have known <laughs> but you got no <laughs> levels innit bro you, you have to be respectful innit and say look this is where I am I'm gonna I'm, I need to get better and Alhamdulillah if you're in a club where Alamaberg is very gracious. You know, people that we, we surround ourselves, they're not those that, wow, yeah, that makes sense. But as a man, when you're getting your space invaded, yeah, and they're imposing your will, their will, sorry, against you, and it's on camera. So this guy started this video it. Yeah, how are you feeling? No, 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 no. I didn't feel it any way about it. Oh, no, yeah. But I'm saying, I'm saying, for you, well, we spoke about this, Khalid. I said, bruv, do you see what I'm saying to you, bro? No, 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 I spoke about this very specific. I'm like, I've got, I've got an issue, bruv, that certain people are going to watch this and think I'm a waste man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I'm going to try my chances, yeah. He said, number one, that mindset's a big problem, mm. and number two, you'll be a better and stronger fighter after what we've done than you were before, yeah. But yeah, that went through my mind, but it's it's, it's like that, yeah, yeah, that's standard, though. primordial kind of thing inside us. I By the way, I didn't feel a certain way, in man. Well, I didn't, bro. I'm just stop it this weekend. <laughs> But I'll film it again, bro. I don't film care. But I'll tell you what. But do you see what I'm saying to you, bro? I get it, though. Yeah. But say, say, a, say a pro fighter going out to fight in front of thousands of people and on TV and they get spanked. Yeah. How are they feeling? Like, like um, what's his name? Kamara Usman, bro. Yeah. Getting flatlined. And yeah. then memes happening after that, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Ty Tyron and Woodley, high Tyron level Woodley. Tyron, Woodley. Tyron Woodley, bro. So are you going to catch feelings? Me? No. Then to see what happens. That of course they're going to catch feelings, bro. Mm. If you're mentally strong, it's like. But I'm sure they got affected them no, after. No, but I'm saying to you, but then you will never fight. Mm. You know what I'm saying to you? You then know you, that's part of the equation. It's part of it. You're yeah. gonna lose, and then what happens? You have respect for yourself. That okay, I might lose, but this I, I'm one percent of people that will ever do this. Mm. You get it? that I'm willing anytime. Even when you compete, yeah. What's gonna be hard for you is not the preparation. The winning, losing. Not winning and losing. It's standing. As soon as you go out, you're thinking, oh man, all my people are here watching me. Yeah, yeah. I that, might lose. That's already been from my mind. Who cares, bruv? That's, <laughs> no, no, seriously. Don't worry about that stuff. But again, because I always, when I, when I used to fight and stuff, I was like, yeah, you've come to watch me fight. You're not fighting. I'm doing something more than any of them. So again, so you always respect But you did people. say that every time you used to go out, yeah, you get worried. You say to yourself, why the hell am I doing course, this, bruv? If I'm in a change room, I, like I said to you, I'm hitting pads and I'm thinking, well, I should just be at home eating pizza. <laughs> But then, like I said to you, then you switch on. Yeah. Then you switch on, and it's like uh, you, you you train yourself to. I I tell you something. Maybe you can identify with this. Is that um, I, I've trained martial arts all my life, yeah, as a kid. And one thing that I only as an adult, yeah, I'm talking about recently, bro, in the past two years that I've I've started to change my mentality on, is like you said to me, winning and sparring, bro. Like losing. Like there's no dishonor in losing. If the dishonor comes from yourself or how you how you react to losing. So I remember as a kid when I used to go to tournaments, I used to get so wound up that it actually affected my performance because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to lose. So so part of winning is actually accepting that you might lose, bro. Like that as a as that's why I try to tell my kids, when you go to competition, I don't care if you win or lose. For me, it's make your opponent respect you. That's it. Because they're going to respect you because you, bro, anyone coming on the mat, that's a win, bro. Yeah, you start for your game when you, oh, remember Last Samurai? Do you remember Last yeah. Samurai? When he says I to him- I watched it like 50 times, bro. Remember a bit where he says to him, too many too, too mind. Too many mind. That's what it is. <laughs> that's so mind true. Mind the people, yeah. mind this. Like, that's yeah. basically- so, that's so true. That you're thinking about so many other things while they're just fighting the guy. So, so my question to you is, what was it like Walking into the, so that, you know, your face, when we talked about before, walking from the car park, meeting Khalid, smiling and everything. What was the mentality then? And what happened the last day when you shook every, after the last fight, 
Yeah, the last round shook everyone's and you in your car, bro, on your way home. Oh. That's that's, uh, that's what a, was the difference? That's a good question. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, bro. Yeah. Well, uh, Dilly's made me bring up my game, you know. You're, you're, you're good at, you're good at I'm, stuff, I'm gonna start sending you text yeah, messages like you send him as well. You're good at stuff. No, no, he doesn't send me text messages. He doesn't send me voice notes. Oh, voice notes. He doesn't send me voice notes. Minimum, voice minimum, voice minimum, voice minimum, minimum four minutes, four minutes. Followed, followed by apologies in advance. Yeah. Literally, it's always <laughs> kind of apologies in advance, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Income is seven minute voice now. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, Ibrahim mashed my arm, uh, my elbow up, bro. Yeah, Ibrahim mashed my. No, elbow let's up. talk about rent free going in. No, no, he mashed my elbow up for three before weeks. before Remember? you even oh, yeah, yeah. started. He mashed me up for three weeks. I couldn't do. No, I couldn't straighten my arm for three weeks. Right. I had to tell myself not to be upset with him. He just did what he had to do. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. I think you're seeing him do it as well. He's, yeah. he's looking at you, he's just doing it. And I'm just like, okay, there's not much I can really do. But anyway, hold on, I digress again. You said you weren't going to bring him up again, bro. Ibrahim, uh, uh, by the way, I'm going to see, we'll probably see him on Monday. This is coming out in a few weeks. I've never found myself speaking about a youngster so much, you know that. Anyway, um, how do I feel? Also, don't, let's not gas him up too much, innit? I was depleted. <laughs> I, was, I, I, I was depleted. I felt like I embarrassed myself. What? I felt like that I was, was at the end. Yeah, yeah, on the I'm drive home. I'm speaking to Aki no. on the drive home, bro. Right. Like everything's done, dust, we've, we've ate, we had a nice munch, not carbon it right. We drove back to Where did Mercedes. you eat? What was the first meal after what, that? What did we eat? We, we you smashed. Kept yeah, we smashed. Oh yeah, we had five lads, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We smashed burgers, chickens, all sorts. Oh yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Driving back, Aki was like, how do you think you went by? I got, I got smashed, bruv. And one of the questions I asked Aki was, uh, how did I look? Mm. How did it look? How did it look? Aki couldn't lie, because, bruv, you were tired, didn't it, bruv? <laughs> you are tired? <laughs> you are tired, didn't it, bruv? Could buy you were tired, didn't it, bruv? What'd you expect? And I was like, highly oh, dummy. I didn't know I had to, that many rounds on juju. There's nothing left. I'm taking out the, the, the drive back home, yeah? So I you mean, were, were bruv. Like we say, we brought out the Manchester. No, 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 no. Khalid this and Khalid that and Khalid this. It never, ever, it never, ever descended to Turkey, but it was all right. Khalid and Ibrahim and flipping these guys. And then I was like, I was like, prof, and I was hugging Aki to count the minutes. I goes, I goes, I goes, gosh, I'm all this. I was like, I did 40 minutes of sparring before I even got to Charlie. I was like, there's nothing left. And I was like, there's a lot of that happening at home. But then I had moments where I was like very optimistic about how I did. And then tr truly embarrassed and like, like, like it was a joke what I did, and um, I was knackered, bro. Um, it was just, it was just, I, I was knackered. And just towards the end, you know, I was saying, put your hands up, put your hands up, yeah. yeah don't. I was just, I was mad, I was mad because Ibrahim mashed my elbow up. He just put my hands up, was killing me. I, was, I couldn't understand why Khalid made me do so many sparring rounds before I even got to it. That was my only complaint of Khalid, which I never actually voiced him in person. <laughs> Until now. So when, so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go on. Yeah, use my phone, you call somebody cares. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I didn't tell him. Because I know he wouldn't care. You so. know why? There was a there was a whole reason why I did that. Go on. He, he done every art. So he had to fill every single one. And I wanted to go with Coach Shamal. So different levels. Coach Shamal. Two minutes. I went to go with Ibrahim. Two I wanted him to wrestle with Abdurrahman. No, I did Jiu Jitsu with Abdurrahman. Oh, well. Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. So you done, you done two I don't, I'll tell you the exact timings. 11 minutes of yeah. Jiu Jitsu yeah. with a father and two sons. Yeah. Then I did. Uh, so, wait, wait, wait. So, well, th think about the strategy I did, yeah? So, then three rounds I did was you at your, when you was at your freshest, yeah? Then I'd done kickboxing with you, which is something that I thought, okay, you're co you're comfortable with doing stand up. Oh, well, as I was. Because you, you know, because you know, you've done stand up mm -hmm. before. So, they, okay, even though you're tired, Hopefully your technique will take over. Then the last one was, okay, let's put it all together. And those were the ones where you had to truly rely on technique. And then they would have come out, okay, did he learn anything from this? And all the brothers took it easy on man. So uh, uh, just, just, not, just to kind of- uh, I'm not dumb to understand, but there were times which obviously I didn't include in the edits. Yeah. Abdul Rahman was like, bro, it's there, take it. Yeah, yeah. And, but and, can I just and, say and, something? And, and for me, even that was like, look, my my sparring opponent's telling me yeah, he's yeah. giving me something, so so, so the, the loads of mixed feelings, bro. But uh, did he? Ibrahim wrestling. I think he won British champ. Yeah. 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 Ibrahim as well. And Abdurrahman. No, no, Abdurrahman. No, no, no. I'm going to get to Abdurrahman. Ibrahim wrestling British championship. He won. He won Europeans in in jiu jitsu mm -hmm. at junior and multiple gold medalists, bro. 
عبد الرحمن ها ابرود ابرود از وول عبد الرحمن از نو بف عبد الرحمن ما شاء الله هاي ليفل بابو بابو برو الله مبارك ما شاء الله ريسلينج هاي ليفل ريسلينج برو اتس نوت اي ثينك هيز ون اوف ذا فيو ان ذا كونتري برو اند اي كود بروبلي ساي ذات ذات هاف ا هاي ليفل ان ريسلينج اند هاي ليفل ان جوجيتسو برو جست ام سين كوت شامو بف كوت كوت اخي هي ويز way less than when i roll bro wallahi he, he kills me bro like allahumma barik mashallah 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 um so you're not you're not it's not you're not going with say for example if you've done the same thing with white belts imagine they were truly true like just started it'd be a completely different thing but you're going with guys that are high level let me just say something bro, yeah khalis said to me <laughs> he, he he didn't tell me anything about coach shamu yeah he didn't tell me did you just see on episode say i goes oh you did it bro him on purpose yeah. it's literally there in the episode i goes you've done this on purpose yeah i know you can literally you can say, yeah i did this on purpose yeah. i didn't know i was facing what i was facing, I was facing white belts but it's yeah. good i liked it it was, it was an element of surprise as well on us but and plus that's facing your demons isn't it? yeah that's it not it that, was like it's um, not that he's your demon but yeah. it's, just, it's just facing that that because remember the first i remember how much you rang me after after the first time he rolled with ibrahim it was like it wasn't like ibrahim specific what it was it was like the guy's 17 yeah but i got mangled i'm a man like i, I didn't understand yeah. what i don't understand like, what how, how did this guy just play with me and he didn't come out of first gear and all stuff so i think that mentally i needed him to deal with it yeah, yeah. that's why I, that's why i put you it's with probably ibrahim. a good thing bro yeah with most people but imagine most people what they do is they run away from fears Yeah. And run and don't know. Like, he's thinking about psych- psychological. Fit. When something is painful, trauma or you something, they avoid it. Yeah, I made you face it. Hundred percent, you did. Now he lives rent free in your head. <laughs> but <laughs> I just want to know if you understand this one, guys. Can I tell you another thing I can understand on finale day? Holly goes after. So there's three two minute spas, three two minute rounds. Yeah, called Shamo and the, and and the, and the boys. Yeah. Then there's like then he's like yeah now you have to do a five minute round and I'm like where did that come from in my head did I'm you like, freestyle that on the spot no because I yeah. went to do it MMA <laughs> but did you just decide that on the spot no I went to MMA oh you then used, okay and, right. then, and then he's like oh a five minute round with, with, with thinking and then and then he's like you choose he said to me you choose like, I was like you choose yeah Ibrahim hmm. so can I say to you when did it start when did it actually so You drove. You driven back to Luton. Who drove, Basically, by the way? I drove. Oh, you drove back. Okay. Yeah, so arms, arms were hurting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we understand why they're hurting. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> so you got back home. Yeah, for a long time. Okay. All right. Yeah, for did you ice it? Huh? Did you ice it? Yeah, probably, yeah, but it just wasn't nice, was it? Bro? <laughs> wasn't a nice feeling, bro. So when did it sink in, bro? So the day after, the day after that, like, how? What was your? I would um, say, I would say, on the day and the day after, there was mixed feelings about. how we went down what went down what the final product's going to look like like in terms of how did i do how's it going to look on camera yeah, yeah. how are the people going to take it but for the first i would say the first day or two straight after it was a lot to do with probably got smashed this was a joke you shouldn't have done this embarrassing people going to laugh at you people going to think you're a mug they're going to think you're, you you're an easy marker mm. but there were other times where i was like no bro you know i think i done well the fact that i actually completed it the fact that i finished the week um you know i was going for mixed feelings but Alhamdulillah within by the end of the week the maslaha outweighed the mas- mm-hmm. outweighed the mafsada the, the the benefits were far greater and better and I only benefit from that experience can I take a little bit here bro go on go for it uh not like do you feel that you throughout your life because I know we've, we've we've had a conversation about mm. your childhood and mm. like I'm not it's not a psychology session no, but, fine, but but you you were involved in you know things yeah you know stuff that mm-hmm. were naughty yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and like you got into fights and stuff like that yeah and you thought you were a certain way yeah it's not about that does that make sense yeah c- com- and uh, then kind of universe is different yeah so so the so when you got into that you kind of brought that mentality in yeah, and yeah. thinking you know what i can handle myself bro i've been i've seen madness Even when Wait, you, was it ever like I'm, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth I'm just trying to figure it out because no, from I what you're that, saying no, I found that very quick Mohammed I, okay. found, I found that very quick and it was that first sparring session right. but you did come into that thinking like that no there was an element of thinking how much is my guy going to harm me right, right. how much what's he going to do to me do you understand but then I realized very quickly that they can do a lot to me in a very short space yeah. of time with relative if, if not entire ease Khali was twisting me up while smiling at me he was doing it bro yeah. he was looking at me just smiling there's one thing you did what was that sweep bro I was like on a cartwheel in the air 
But you literally lifted me up. Oh, the butterfly. Yeah, yeah the and, 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 and I'm, while that's happening, I'm thinking, what's going on here? Why am I in the air for, bruv? Like, and it felt like slow motion. Khalid's face looks pretty normal to me. It looks pretty normal to me. He doesn't like it's quite. Was that smiling? <laughs> that's like, yeah. I can't be smiling. Nah, but you. <laughs> with his just, eyes. It's funny with his eyes. So, so, so I find out very quickly that yeah. now nah, what I thought when we were in that life. Then situations and circumstances incomparable to yeah. the mat or the cage or the ring. So now um, you've you've so this we'll end on this, yeah. So now you're still training. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Alhamdulillah. So you're keeping that up. Um how do you looking back at it now, how do you feel? At the But because now you're training, you've been training how long since you've uh, uh, shot so this? February, so we're now in November. Yeah. So I would say we're about ten months. So it's ten months you've you've gone through this journey. Uh, ten months of training, uh jujitsu six months. Six months. Yeah. So how has your mentality changed now? Like when you're going into training? I've got I've gone through different phases. So the initial phase was there's a there's a daunting aspect of it. Oh, I'm gonna get smashed today. What's gonna happen? Who's, what's gonna happen today? Who's gonna smash? And there was, there was literally, I'd be pulling up next to the academy, thinking, "What's gonna go?" Do I want to go in? Yeah, yeah. But I always went in. Yeah, alhamdulillah. There was never a time where I opted not to go training. Even that week when I was with Khalid, I'd go back and do the evening classes. Inshallah, that's good, man. You understand? So, so I'd, I'd, I trained with Khalid. So I was that week and the week before, I was doing about three to four hours of training a day. So now the, I would say there's definitely a level of maturity and, and appreciation. That you're not getting there to win a spa because mm. a spa isn't even really like um, a real tournament type situation, is it? There's an element of your sparring partner being in a particular way because he's not there to win, mm. he's there to tr try certain things out. So, you even know that th that mindset was wrong, I overcame that stage. Then there was a stage of um, how committed I am to it. Is two hours a week enough? Now I don't do two hours a week now. I do. I, make, I try my best to at least do three to four hours a week, inshallah, that time. Mm -hmm. So, so, so there's a level of maturity, and there is an aspect of wanting to do good very quick. Okay, that's that's something which Khalid said to me as a good brother. Everyone wants to be sick at it very quickly, and it's true. I want my first strike. Yeah. I want to do my first tournament. I want to get my first submission. That's a good but thing, though. Really. Yeah, but sometimes it just becomes like you start becoming impatient. You start doing yeah. things hastily. You start you start questioning why do you want to do it. Do you want to do it because you want to let the world know that you've reached a particular milestone, or you're actually monitoring your progress and making mm. positive changes. So yeah, I, I believe I've definitely matured, and all of that preparation I did for the good fight helped for where I am right now. And any advice for someone? Like because we we get message we also get messages in the cl in the club all the time. today I got a message saying mm -hmm. I'm 57 years old I've never done any combat sports in my life would you take me on I was like yeah, of course like but what would you come Sunday open mat he wants to come open mat I said bro don't come open mat bro <laughs> <laughs> don't come open mat come to the Monday class oh. it's it's yeah don't come open mat <laughs> just introduce him in it <laughs> <laughs> but um. So what advice would you give to someone? Because it's important, bro. Like, there's a lot of guys out there who feel demasculated at home. They're working nine to five. Mm -hmm. They've got a bit of a belly now. Their estrogen levels are through the roof. Testosterone's going down. Um, maybe his wife's not looking at him the same way. Yo, honestly, this kind of happened, bro. Like, you, 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 you're feeling... Uh, what are you looking at me like that for? I'm just listening. Like, <laughs> He's looking at you know, me. Like, like 15 people popped in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like real talk, bruv. Like, what what advice would you give to someone who who what like who may be watching this and think, you know what, I don't want to do this, man. Like, what would you what would you what advice would you give to them? Um, I would simply just want to say to do to do something in small steps is better to do nothing. Um, again, I'm I'm drawing back to the pre the episodes because some of these were some of the discussion points in the episodes. Mm. So, for example, in kickboxing, it was kicking bad habits. And forming good ones So Khalid would explain to me That look certain people They change and they do things Cold turkey overnight But we said we're kind of those kind of characters For me I can't do gradual change Because mm. for me gradual change means Opportunities to slip back Relapse Go back to bad ways It needs to be all or nothing for me The vast majority of mankind is not like that mm. They move at their own pace and gradual steps So I would say to brothers and, and just people generally that if if you can just make a small step, it's a step that you didn't take yesterday. Um, and exercising, let's forget about combat sports. Okay. 
just exercising and eating correctly is something if, if you don't even care about that then then i i don't know what kind of life you're setting yourself up for from a muslim from an islamic perspective your body has rights over you and as we are qawamun over our families and our women folk why wouldn't you want to be a stronger and better version of yourself how are you how are you supposed to be seen and perceived as a leader in your forget about community in your own home um if you're not making certain changes in your life um you know when I was growing up my dad was a rugby player he used to love sports you know there were leadership skills and strengths that we saw in our father he wasn't a big physical man he was a fly half he was a short man we used to smash guys on the rugby pitch smash them we used to hear stories about from the Italians and the Irish about me who used to play rugby that was something that instilled something within us mm. yeah okay we didn't go into sports because we had other things but the point is that your something was always there you want to be that for your son and your daughter i've now said that my daughter inshallah ta'ala and all my children they will all be doing jiu jitsu and wrestling inshallah definitely 100% 100% get the kids into something i would even say for fathers what better thing can you give to your daughter than for her ability to defend herself you'll sleep much lighter at night <coughs> right yeah. you sleep so much lighter at night that you know that she can inshallah a situation never comes yeah. But she can handle herself and defend herself. Like that situation, I just read the situation. Um, that, st- that that sister <coughs> that got murdered in, in is it Ilford? Yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. kicked her to death. Kicked bro. Her to death. Now, obviously, he's a man and he's stronger than her. But if she knew something, some sort of jujitsu, or some sort, I don't know anything to kind of. We didn't make, we did in the MMA, uh, episode, didn't we? Did some like some self defense okay. for, for women. So any sort of self defense, mm. again, I think yeah. you know, you know we've. Even when you start doing martial arts, it's more to do with awareness. Mm. You'll start seeing people's body language and and then knowing that there's danger. Because obviously, like I know there was this whole women uh, should be should feel safe to walk home at night. And, well, like we agree, bro. And one hundred percent agree. But the one thing that you protect, you're trying to protect yourself from is psychopaths. Yeah. Then people are unpredictable, so you need to know how to avoid certain situations because everyone has a right i have a right to leave my front door open but yeah. i don't even though i can fight yeah. I, leave, I don't leave my front door open because i'm not gonna let someone come in and yeah. sucker punch me or see things so this this is this is the thing with martial arts you understand this about life that you can't predict things there's unpredictable things and you're trying to give yourself the best opportunity to deal with those situations there was a there was a um... They showed a video of people walking to a to violent offender. They were like, point out the people that you would you would target. Obviously, mostly women. Mm-hmm. And people were on their phones. And men who walk a specific way, bro. Like, yeah. even for example, subhanAllah, the, the, Rasulullah used to walk a specific way. Uh, a hurried step. Looking straight. You know, bo- body language does a big thing. Because if... Think about it. You see 10 people. You're not going to mess with the guy who's walking with his back straight, looking straight ahead with the head on a swivel. Like, I'm not saying be, no, be the paranoid. Whole, no, the whole point of the Hajj and Umrah yeah. is that we are told to have our chest yeah. bare, isn't it? Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a certain posture yeah. that gives a certain uh, sign to Quraysh at the time when they yeah. came. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, we don't, we're not here for it, but if it happens, yeah, we're yeah. ready. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's, that's, that's basically what the idea of walking and bearing some of your chest, the like ulama said. Um, Muslim men, you need to be doing something, man. Yeah. You need to be doing something. Something. Even if it's press ups at home, something. Yeah, Khalid. I mean, you should be training, though, anyway. Yeah. You should be training. But you should be yeah. training. Khalid comes from a, but I was about the laity. Yeah. A warm, yeah? Do something, man. Yeah. Press ups, push ups, pull ups, eat right, something. Do something. I think with martial arts, I if 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 I was a, a president of a country, bro, you know how they got like two years military service? You'd make it compulsory. Or I'd make it compulsory from eighteen to whatever that you've got to do a martial art, bro. You, you know, I'd find that Khalid's is, mindset is too shadid for most people. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the truth. So that's why I had to quickly slip in and say, "Look, lady, do press ups or something." But he's telling <laughs> that you should be training default. <laughs> yeah, you should do. You should do, bro. That's a certain, but yeah, there's levels to the mindset. Yeah. Here. But also, look for example. Um, you know, you know when you when you train, it teaches. But well, we've done in a strength and conditioning section. I say it teaches. It, it teaches a lot about yourself. <laughs> he wants to give up at certain points, yeah. Twice, and then I said to him, "Push for it." Yeah, he pushed for it, and then I remember at the end of it, I was like, "This is what it's about." Mm. There's no one. You're not trying to compete against me. It's not a jujitsu fight or nothing. It's you versus you. 
And then that you'll instill into your family and other things as well. Like you learn how to be disciplined. You level stuff. up as well, bro. Yeah, you, did, like, you won't go back down to that. You, you kind of, there'll be a baseline that's where you've like hit it. and then you go to the next level and then that's the baseline mm -hmm. and then so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. man. Cause you ever see some people like, how the hell this guy climb Mount Everest and they don't start like that. Of course, it, that's the yeah. end result. Exactly. That's the level that was reached initially. So <clears throat> final thoughts, okay. Um, because obviously you were, you were there. You, you you guided him through the whole pro. You were like his. Uh, I was gonna say he used the word guru, but more. It was he was a stud, yeah, bro. Yeah, like in, in, in was, the series, yeah, I referred to Khalid. You were like the Mr. Miyagi, but like no wax on wax on. Yeah, wax on, <laughs> no, wax on bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna give you the last word. Sorry. Okay, so um, I think the main thing uh, was Dilly completed the whole thing. He didn't he didn't um, moan too much all the way through it. Um, he did everything I did. Uh, he did. He did. He, he, well, actually, even though he did moan sometimes, but he did, he did the things and didn't really question. So, okay, like you're, I'm, I'm here to learn and stuff, which was that's a plus for me. That's a good. That's a tick. Um, as much as he thinks he was embarrassed and didn't do well and stuff, I was proud of him. Sure. I think the the guys he was definitely proud of you. The, the, the guy the guys who who were there. I mean, Coach I mean, Coach Shamo, Everyone, mashallah, they all said good things. Um, and in seven days to, to do all that and I remember I put you through it it wasn't I didn't say I didn't make it easy for you on purpose it never felt easy yeah but I didn't make it easy on purpose as well so that was the whole objective it was never never because it could have been this like p fluff piece innit yeah but where it, wasn't that. it well, definitely the wasn't the that well yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it wasn't a fluff it wasn't, it wasn't a fluff that. piece and it was it was I wanted to push him I wanted to try to break him a bit I wanted I want him to take something from it which he would put into his life and alhamdulillah I think we achieved that He's doing jujitsu now mm. and he's practicing. Just one more point quickly, I uh, forgot to mention. There's a reason why peep martial artists do martial arts till they die. It's because you're always learning something. You're learning something about yourself, you learn something about the art. When you get to a black belt, you feel like a white belt again, because it just something else opens up to you. So this is this is something that we've running on a treadmill. I said to you last time, you just run on a treadmill. How many years can you keep looking at running that treadmill and looking at the screen? It's it's boring. There's no mental 100%. stimulation. So this yeah. is why people like you you dream about jujitsu and stuff and oh I should have done this. You should have read. Yeah, tactical stuff. So I think Hamdullah, we achieved me personally as a coach, I was kind of like now also carb it right. Him eating well. 100%. Athlete, Him, eight. athlete eight doing strength and conditioning. So for me as a coach, it's like, yeah, go. Now you can go and on your journey now, inshallah. Like, so. Alhamdulillah, my wife and Aki can test because they were the people that were seeing it the most. I, I followed those two things religiously. So what would your wife say about this? Uh, what would your wife, if you if used to ask your wife, yeah. what changes, what, what differences have you seen in you? Um, I, 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 look, it, our wives persevere with, with, with many of us because yeah. sometimes when we want to go and achieve things as in the man the husband yeah. obviously there's far more things that we go on and we become quite self-centered whether it's career whether it's competing yeah. whether it's business whether it's whereas many of Muslim women are homemakers you know they, they're raising your children they're feeding you and, and all these kind of things so I know that she and I had mood swings as well mm. I had mood swings at home sometimes sometimes I'd have an injury it'd be, it'd be like I was vexed my ribs were hurting literally three days before we started filming she, yeah, and, and, she, and, and she said it. She, she, she goes look so you just have to constantly hear, hear you talking about your injuries and <laughs> or, 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 or the food wasn't right or have you apologised to us? Uh, no, 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 you have yeah, yeah. you can use my phone again has <laughs> <laughs> she forgiven you? yeah of course okay. <laughs> not, not no, not that I necessarily even saw it. But, yeah, yeah, but, but of think, course, no, of I course. Apologize. Yeah, so I apologize. Yeah. I said, that, look, during that period, I know I was in a particular yeah. way, and and just Allah for putting up with me, uh, as you should, uh, and as you did, but I acknowledged it, mm -hmm. and and I'm grateful for it. And similarly, with competition time, uh, seventy something days away, I said to her, it's going to be very similar to the good fight times three, maybe. Mm. I think you will probably deal with it better now, because no, don't you think you've gone through this good fight? Sure, no, but my mat time is going to increase a lot. So I'm oh, kind of I see what you mean. Smashed. You mean time-wise? You know what I think we should do, Mohammed? Why don't you set up a BJJ helpline 
For me, <laughs> they can call in. No one's there. They're just and you just talking. Like, like uh, Shoiro, oh, have you seen Shoiro? <laughs> Shoiro have got this thing, this phone yeah. number. You know Shoiro, the gi, the gi, the gi thing. So every week they have like a, a sub, and people call in, and they just leave a voicemail in it. Yeah. So I think we should just do we that. One eight hundred. Call someone who cares. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> no, no, you, no, 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 you guys. You, you look, you, you're bantering about yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But, of course, but, but, yeah. but for the for, for, I just started, and, and, but those pains were real, man. Yeah. And I couldn't stop talking about it. Do you know it. how I banter about it? Why? Because he does it. Oh. Yeah, I do. I do it. Yeah, we all do it. We all do it. But I got home and you know, He was lying. He told me to step on his back the other day, bro. Yeah, yeah my, his but, back was like but, this. Yeah. <laughs> one side was like this, one side was like that. It's one of those things, bro. So, 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 now, it is where it is. so now there's a lot of talk about pains and aches at home. And, and Have you and, had a massage since? Yeah, yeah, I've had a massage. I've had, I've, I've had uh, Aki gives, gave me a massage. Okay, yeah, Aki's a physio. So Alhamdulillah, you know, Aki was great support throughout the entire week. But there's a lot of this, like, oh, I'm in pain. Oh, this is, you know, this got my up. Oh, this hurts. Oh, why is the food? Oh, da, da, da. So there's a lot of that. Are you starting to leg lock shit? Huh? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Just remember tap early. Yeah? Quickly, yeah. So, tap so, early, bro. So, super early. In one, in one of the Nogi classes, they were doing it from, what guard is it when you're like, when you bring them down like that? Butterfly. 50, 50 or? Uh, cross. Um, X guard. X guard, yes. Yeah. So take them down with the X guard, then you turn. <laughs> The heel hook, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was learning that, but for a quick time, I was like, I'm not yeah, taking yeah. part in this yeah, yeah. class. Now, yeah, allow it. Yeah. Allow it. You don't even see it coming. Yeah. You can let you, quick. you need to learn it, but it's again, see, if you go with that winning mentality, that's when your career ends up very quick. I think we should end on that, bro. Yeah. Are you got any closing comments? Well, he was, he was he's, last got, he's got to do something. Alhamdulillah, um, there were no negatives from the project, bro. Yeah. I don't regret it. There are many things we could have done much better if the budget allowed it, the time allowed it. Um, but I think what we produce in a very short space of time for a budget, which is a couple of thousand pounds, a couple of thousand of pounds is what the budget for the good fight was. Wallahi, I've had people who've watched it and reviewed it and said, in terms of the quality of the production and certain things that Jamal did, very professional. And I've only taken positives from it, bruv. I've, I've only benefited from it. Well, I appreciate everything for, firstly, allowing us to be involved in this project as well. Like for and, um, it, no, our pleasure, bro. And you coming down all the way from Bedford today just to, for this interview. I appreciate that as well. And uh, we'll we'll put the links to Athlete 8, Carbit Right, and The Good Fight in the description. Sean. I mean, if you're a combat for, sport athlete or not, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, if you're thinking about going to train, all the links, that if you're if you're close to one of us, you can come down to either Legion uh, Grappling Academy or Khadi Smile Academy um, and come train with us, man. So I think for me and Khalid and Dili, we'll see you on the next one.